Hello, in this video, I will talk about uh, roughing your fourth axis. I have a couple of requests uh, to do a demo on a fourth axis roughing. The part you see on the screen is an example of a uh, fourth axis rough. Now, if you really want to make this part, it's, uh, it's best to uh, make it as a uh, Milton machine. Because if you see, if um, symmetrically, we can do a lot of uh, features like symmetrical the, the cylinder, we can do a uh, training, and all this uh, part in between uh, the two eccentric features, we can do a uh, grooving tool path uh, to take it off and then uh, for uh, eccentric features we can do a milling tool path say for example uh, if we don't have a 10 mil or we don't have any um, accessible to tanning machine so the only thing we have is a fourth axis mill how do how do we, how do you rough a part like this right um, so uh, let's uh, do a So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through. Uh, once I uh, will show you how to how this toolpath works, then I will uh, pull apart in and read a toolpath from scratch. So if you have to see the stock removal, let's do that. Let's. Uh, I did uh, some uh, rough uh, tool path uh, to make the video faster to give a quick demo. So that's why I didn't have any tool holders or anything set it up. I just uh, do a pull apart in, then uh, do a tool path. So what we're gonna do is, um, if you really want to make a part right uh, in a production setting, uh, we'll uh, we need to use it on a mill tunnel so that way you do a turning path uh, to do all the cylindrical features what is a cylindrical cylindrical feature when you do a spun out line for a turning stock uh, if it's uh, symmetrical from the center line we have features uh, symmetric uh, from the center line it's uh, we can do it using a turning tool path you can do all the turning tools um, and then uh, for all that eccentric feature we can do a milling tool path uh, using a mill turner surface uh, surface area tool path or a curve axis tool path now, uh, since we don't have any of those uh, 10 mil in this example, so we are using this. Uh, if it's really a, it's a training, uh, like I told you, uh, do all the training um, using a training toolpath uh, for a cylindrical feature and uh, do a, use a grooving toolpath, the grooving cycle to rough out all the stock in between the two eccentric features. And then use a milling, multi-axis milling to do the feature. Now, it's, uh, what we got here is just a fourth axis melt. So I'm uh, showing you how to rough all this uh, uh, stuff. So you can see we have both the stock and the part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it and I'll uh, do this part from scratch. Okay. So let's say we have a now let me do the other two pads. Let's take it, put it back into unused. Let's start from the scratch. Okay, we had uh, we will start from building the MCS. So let's um, start a here geometry MCS. Okay, let's go and give it a local. Let's give it a two. So it's fifty five in essence. Okay, now let's uh, bring again here geometry underneath the MCS two workpiece. 
Now go and select your uh, call piece for the stock. So the, what it is is just a building a simple cylinder. So now we have. Uh, so let's go and build a grid operation. I went through a lot of uh, cycles how to do a multi-axis milling. Um, so again, I will uh, go through go with it one more time. Program. Let's pick up the. Is that what we picked up? No. What piece two? Okay. So now let's uh, go and select a surface area tool path. Select the top surface of the simple extrude body. Go into surface percentage, zero, zero, zero. So you can see the all that uh, orange color telling you what's uh, the entire range of the surface we are planning to cut. I give it a, you want a um, tool on or a tangent tool. Let's uh, go tangent tool, cut direction. the area how you want to cut it let's uh, start from uh, let's do this way okay make sure uh, the arrow is pointing up right now it's pointing down as you can see make sure it's pointing up okay offset we don't want any offsets for now let's put the helical just give it a low number okay okay make sure all the things are done right now what now you need to select the projection vector projection vector is going to be a uh, two-word line so always for a fourth axis mill when you are uh, doing a um, with the indexer make sure your rotary axis is selected towards the line so it's not pointing up it's not it's wrong so see the arrow it's wrong uh, we need to select the right one let's select two points so that way arrow is pointing uh, pointing to the towards the rotation axis now for the tool axis, we can do a, you don't want to put a normal to drive because you need to make sure that uh, you have a lead in for the tool. So let's go fourth axis let you to drive. Um, so again, for vector, make sure you point, you point, uh, point out, pick up the rotation axis. Okay, rotation axis around the A axis for the fourth axis stuff. Make sure you're, how much you want to tilt your tool so you get a nice tool path. Okay, we got the tool, all those things we selected. Okay, now just go and uh, do the generate uh, the tool path. Okay, so the tool path is just for ten. I make it low number so that way we know we make sure that uh, we have all those things right. The lead in, lead out. Okay, so now you can go and increase your number. Let's go and uh, give it a uh, one twenty. Before we do it, I just want to make sure we delete some of the stuff in the tool. In the tool. All right, so we got the complete toolpath done. So we have to cover the entire stuff. All right, now let's go and uh, do the simulate toolpath, verify toolpath. Okay, let's make sure that it's uh, behind this part. Okay, 3D room toolpath. So what we're going to do is next next time we will uh, go and uh, delete all this uh, slot because obviously we're going to come in and uh, do a slotting with a different uh, tool. So it's going to be a roughing that uh, stock.
So what I do, I also will uh, put a link to the video of uh, a gentleman, excellent gentleman who does a lot of uh, fantastic creative projects, uh, does that, uh, this uh, eccentric uh, crankshaft for uh, Winkle Engine. Uh, so his name is Johnny Q, I think, uh, the channel, you can check it out. How he's doing it, he's doing it in a simple um, lathe and a uh, grinder, what's fantastic uh, stuff. Again, it's only you can do it on a prototype, it's not for complete uh, production setting machining. Okay. Okay, let's go back and turn your. Uh... So what I'm gonna do right now, I'll uh, go and delete all the um, slots and stuff that we're not gonna machine it uh, during the fourth axis roughing. Apply. Again, I delete all this, uh, these holes. It will be all done in a different tool path. What should I do a region selection so that way it's easy for uh, do all the selection. For right now it's taking a uh, too long time. Okay guys, so I had to delete all those other features so like holes and slots. So we need to go back and regenerate the tool path. Okay, the holes and slot, we need to do it in a, uh, like a milling with a different fixture, uh, set it up. Uh, okay. All right, uh, so let me go and do all the uh, post and similar the machine, uh, if you'd like to see that. All right, uh, thank you.